we got a hot one for you today. Not only in the temperature, but also in the product. So today we've got an install for you and we're gonna be doing rear seat armrest. So let's go check it out over here. So if you guys have been around the golf cart industry for a while, you know that rear seats are kind of like the most popular golf cart accessory, right? Like if you're gonna customize a golf cart, putting a rear seat on is uh, like the first thing everyone does. Now, if you wanna go upper echelon, top tier golf cart, right? You wanna have your passengers having a great time, adding a rear seat cup holder and the armrest, can't beat that, right? Nice cool drink, be able to walk around with your passengers, put them in the back. You can't beat that, right? So we're gonna go over the install today, but before we do that, let's talk about what you're gonna get in the kit. So obviously you're gonna get the armrest and the cup holders. Those are gonna be in there. Those are gonna be pre-assembled for you. In addition to that, you're gonna get all the mounting hardware. So you're gonna get the mounting brackets, you're gonna get the nuts and the washers, everything you need to get it installed. And then you're gonna get my favorite part. You are gonna get sticker templates, right? So. What a great idea, right? A little sticker, got pre-measured holes for you, drill it out real easy. So today we're gonna be installing the buff armrest because we're gonna be putting it on a club car precedent, but we've got all the colors for all the makes and model golf carts on our website, definitely check them out. And uh, with that out of the way, let's install. All right, so obviously first step in the install is gonna be getting your template placed. But before you do that, might not be a bad idea to test out the placement of your armrest, right? So I'm a big guy, and if I have this thing placed too far back and too close to the backrest, that's not gonna be comfortable for me. So you may wanna think about, play around where you wanna have it sit. I'm gonna have mine sit just a little bit farther over the edge. This way when I'm sitting and relaxing, it's super easy for me to get my arm in there. I'll be comfortable, right? So obviously I know where I'm gonna wanna place that. And then uh, yeah, next step, you're gonna get your template. You're gonna wanna peel it off, nice and gentle like, okay? And then you're gonna wanna get it placed and you're gonna wanna get it set and you're gonna wanna get it as straight as you can, right? So. It's a little funky, but it'll do. It's straight on there. All the edges are coming off there. So that'll work just fine for me. And uh, now that I've got the template set, it's time to get serious. And uh, I'm gonna remove my regular spectacles. And I'm gonna put on my safety spectacles because obviously I wear glasses. So my eyes don't work like they should anyway. And I gotta make sure they work well for a long time to come. So we've got our template set and uh, we've got our drill here. So hold on your hard hats, folks, cause we're going in. That wasn't so bad. All right, we only got one down, now it's another one. Here we go. We didn't charge the batteries. We will be right back. <laughs> I've been working on the railroad all my live long days. And we're back. Oh, that's a good battery right there. All right, so now that we got the holes drilled, it's time to remove the template. And uh, before I do that, I'm gonna switch back from safety mode to vision mode, so I can see you guys and talk to you. And now that we've got the holes drilled, you're gonna remove your template, make it stuck on there a little bit. Get that off there. And, uh, now, next step is you're gonna grab some brackets. So the brackets are gonna look like this. They're gonna be a small little L bracket. They're having a screw hole for you. Um, and how they're gonna sit, they're gonna sit actually right on top. And you're gonna get those flush as best you can with the, uh, the drill holes there. And you're gonna do both, both sides. So I'm gonna get my two brackets set and they may fall. Just bear with me here for a second. And uh, I'm gonna get my armrest. I'm gonna get those bad boys lined up. And I am going to get, oh, here's the process, all right? So you wanna finish hand tightening this one. Make sure you don't get it too secure because you're gonna need to get the other side started. And we're gonna get that going. All right, and once you get those tightened down, you're gonna to wanna to get a socket or a little wrench, get them super secure. Like I said, don't strip them out, you don't gotta to go too tight. And uh, just like that, you've got one installed. Last thing we wanna hit on guys is colors. These are aftermarket rear seat cup holders, so just keep in mind, they're not gonna be a perfect match to your rear seat and your front seat, but once you get them installed, no one will know the difference. So hopefully we've got the questions answered for you. Make sure you guys like the video, put your comments below, and we'll see you next time.
think we need to get another drill bit. This is probably a wood drill bit. Okay. Now, now I'm ticked. Now I'm mad. Now we're okay. We really are experts, folks. We do this for a living. We sell tons of golf cart parts. We do this all the time. I'm not sure what's going on. Tell you, tell you, dude. Tell you. Working in the modern office nowadays is rough. Bro. We hit the part where they put diamonds in the seat is what happened. I didn't realize, I knew there were some parts on this, but they, this is the part where they put the diamonds. At some point, we'll get the seat on, or the, the armrests.